Hi, my name is David with Tennessee Valley Solar, and this is a early 70s Clark forklift that I've been restoring. I purchased it from a customer of mine who was going out of business and unloading some equipment. It doesn't currently run, but it's going to be great to have a larger forklift to be able to move the solar panels around. Uh, I get pallets of them, and they weigh about 1,200 pounds to pick up a pallet of them and get that pallet moved to uh, where I'm going to be storing the pallet at. The battery is currently right here. It, it's, it sh the battery should live in this area underneath the air box. However, I'm going to try to set up the battery to live in that area on the other side of the gear shifts. Try to put a battery box in over there and put in some switches to turn on and off lights. And I'm going to try to get this thing sealed up a little bit more than the way it currently is. It's kind of a disaster as far as the wiring goes. There's been a lot of people that have um, just sort of jerry-rigged the wiring around and sealed it up with duct tape because duct tape makes for great electrical connection protection. It just needs a little bit of love and bringing it back to being functional again. And then it weighs about 11,000 pounds and uh, it's nice because it has these great big dually tires on the front so it should roll through the grass here in my backyard quite nicely and do a great job of being able to pick up the pellets and move them around. Given how wide it is it should definitely never fall over. It should be wide enough to give a good solid base that uh, it's going to take a lot of work to get it to fall over. The engine is definitely in need of being overhauled. We've put in some brand new spark plugs, replacing the distributor cap, the points, and the condenser inside of the distributor. We've got the carburetor off of the side of the engine and we are getting that cleaned out and trying to get the carburetor rebuilt and we're replacing the fuel pump that's the uh, the old fuel line right there and Once we get it up and running, we could test the hydraulics. Hopefully we don't have any hydraulic leaks. And we've got it to turn over, but got to get the condenser replaced and the new distributor cap on so it gets good power uh, going to the spark plugs. The spark plugs that were on there were is horribly rusty so we've gotten that replaced and gotten some brand new spark plugs in there I'm gonna replace the, the coil over there and just sort of get a general tune-up going on it and see what else we can do to Get her running solid. Anyway, this is just a, a quick update, sort of start to what I'm doing, trying to get this forklift overhauled and working better. And I have to seal off those wires there. I get, apparently, they went to lights or something that. Uh, have been disconnected so the guy I bought it from I guess just disconnected the lights and left them unplugged so we'll have to just sort of generally clean up these wires after we get everything 
squared up and the brakes don't work right now so we're going to have to get the brake master cylinder replaced all right well i will update as we get sort of some progress going on the forklift 